go sit with bugs for an hour or two be periods where things seem to be going all wrong okay i'm gonna put it inside his mouth maybe he'll taste it and be like okay this is exactly what i need maybe all these things are going wrong because i'm not doing a good job so i get to the point where i'm like oh my gosh what am i doing hello everyone and welcome back today i'm gonna catch you up with a lot of things that have been going on in the farm Lots of changes and on my part, a little bit of disappointment and feeling like I'm overwhelmed. And so I decided to share with you in this video where I'm gonna catch you up on what's been happening and why I feel like I'm the worst goat owner. It's just, I just feel like there's a lot that is making me feel like uh, what I'm doing is not good enough. Now, if you remember some time ago, I mentioned that we are going to get a new buck. And he was born, I think, March 30th. This was the second buckling that we were going to get from the same farm. And I was just so excited about him coming um, at the beginning of June when he'd be over eight weeks. Now when I was talking to the breeder to kind of set up a date to pick him up, they she mentioned that he took the bottle and that I could pick him up anytime. She offered some milk that she had in the freezer so I could use it because the, the goats that I have right now, they're not, you know, Clara had the quads at the time and Mocha was still pregnant and I didn't want to risk bringing a bottle baby and then have to switch his diet or something. So we arranged on a date and that was last Monday, which was what, the 24th of May. Anyways, he was a, a week shy of turning eight weeks old. We went to pick him up. We got there a little bit earlier because we were coming from Utah, but then when we got to the farm, the breeder the breeder was not there. I talked to the husband and I totally forgot to ask for that milk. I thought, not a problem, I'm gonna get home and I'm going to um, milk Clara and milk Mocha. Of course, milking mocha means that, you know, it's just going to be whatever the, the quads are not drinking, which is not that much. But when I got here, I realized that that was not going to work. One of the things that I've noticed immediately is that he was not a bottle baby. And I'm not saying that the breeder di uh, lied, but I'm saying that, you know, he would take the bottle. That's what she said. He'd take the bottle while his mom was at a show. I think she's been in a couple of shows as of recently. And he was on a bottle in the morning and a bottle at night. However, he is not a bottle baby. And with the move and everything, he didn't associate me as her, you know, feeder or somebody who has the food for him. Oh, you're okay. Come here. Look. Come here. It's like, I'd rather not. You want to try to drink it there? Okay, come here. See, here's the chasing. So since Monday, yeah, and today's Thursday, I've been pretty much chasing that boy everywhere to try to give him a bottle. Now, I understand that he's completely terrified because this is a new farm. He's staying with the bugs, well, which by the way, I tried leaving him with the babies and you know, it just didn't work. He was too big for the new babies and he was kind of, being rough with them, he was not having it, so I decided to put him with the bugs. You know, he's with Taz and Rocky and you know, Weather Duke. Duke got all tough around him, and he's such a bully. Duke, I'm watching you. Such a bully. He is kind of trying to become friends with Taz. He's trying because Taz is the underdog, so. Ah! I know, what is happening, baby? 
So when I moved him there, you know, I thought I'm gonna show him a bottle and he's gonna drink it immediately. But he wouldn't. Um, he didn't associate me with food. He didn't associate the bottle with food. And I had to shove it down his throat a couple of times uh, before he actually started sucking on the bottle. Now, after two or three bottles, he started understanding the idea that that's what it was, that he didn't have his mom anymore and that the bottle was gonna be his new mom, but he still didn't get it. And since Monday afternoon when we got here, I've been spending a lot of time just chasing him. Uh, he is, of course, scared because of the move, but he's not, um, you know so human friendly or maybe he wasn't exposed to a lot of interaction with humans i really don't know what it is i don't know what the practices are in other farms i know what i do with my own babies but all i can tell you is <laughs> it's been hard he's so fast and he is so scared that he runs away from me and the only way i can catch him is if i kind of push him into the house you know and that way he'll jump on a kennel that's there and that's how I can catch him okay, that's TMI but he's a little stressed after the move now since last night and I'm saying Wednesday night he started associating me with food and although he's still a little bit skittish he would come to the fence if I have a bottle in my hand. Now I don't think he's gonna be wild, I think he's gonna be able to trust me. I spent my day yesterday sitting in the buck pen and I'm not kidding you, I was sitting inside the buck pen and I had to pet Rocky and I had to pet Duke and I had to pet Taz and I had to show this little one that it was okay that I was not gonna hurt him that all I wanted was to pet him and wanted to feed him and I want to snuggle with him and you know it took me a good couple of hours of petting the boys until he started to come up to me being curious, because I mentioned this in another video, you know, bucklings, dolings, baby goats are very, very curious. So since the other ones were around me and wanted to get pet, and I stunk afterwards, he started to trust me a little bit more. Come and on, Mom. Let's eat, okay? I'm okay. Nothing's gonna happen. Come on, let's go drink your milk, okay? Look, I have a milk bottle. Come on. Okay, come here. Look. Come here. It's like, I'd rather not. You want to try to drink it there? Okay, come here. See, here's the chasing. But he's starting to trust me, as you can see. And he sees that it, that's milk. And he really wants milk. There, there, I'll bring you more later, okay? Is that yummy? I like how he licks his, oh, now he likes me. Hi, you like, well, kind of, not all the way though. Now, the only way I know how to tame a goat is by being gentle. And by being gentle, I mean just being, walking very, very slow, no sudden movement, um, speaking in a soft tone and kind of looking at them in the eyes and trying to make them understand that there's nothing wrong with me, that I'm not going to do anything bad to them and that it's safe. I am a safe person and they can come to me and nothing bad is going to happen. That's the only way that I know how to do things. So that's why I sat on the back pen, inside the back pen and pet the other goats because I wanted him to know that I was safe and that he was gonna be safe around me. <laughs> See, he's starting to understand that, you know, everyone comes up to me, he's okay. Hi, baby, hi. 
I won't pitch you if you don't want me to. But he's thinning hay and uh, he is crying, of course, because he was separated from his mom last Friday. Or was it Saturday that they left for the show? Her, his Duke, knock it off not easily intimidated so he'll act like he's intimidated but then he'll go right back to it mm, he's like excuse oh Duke and that's why I hang around here to make sure he eats I know baby it's okay you can smell my hand I know oh you want me to pet you okay if you don't want it do you want to be a pet no? Okay. It almost seems like you do. Now, if I have to be honest, I've never had to do that before. I've never had to tame a goat. Um, baby goats, sometimes they're a little bit skittish, like I had a few that were skittish, but you've seen it throughout the videos. I mean, they start that way, but once you start working with them, speaking softly, not sudden movement, you let them smell your hand, and you let them know that you're a safe place then they will come up to you because that's what they want to feel they want to feel safe again goats are prey animals and some people think that's kind of an old uh, repeated phrase but for them in their nature they feel scared of pretty much everything so they either hide they run or they you know just don't want to approach you because they're scared that you're gonna hurt them or something it's gonna happen to them and they just don't know so they're scared now as far as the milk it's been hard to milk Clara I think that Athene is drinking a lot of her milk throughout the day so when I I try to milk her at night I can get a few ounces but not nearly enough or not nearly what she was milking before I left. It could be that she's going down in production because I wasn't milking her for about a week because I wanted to make sure that Athene kept her in milk. But at the same time, I can't separate them at night right this second because um, the, the dog house that we're building that dog area and run is not done so the dogs are still with the goats and I separate them into their stalls and leave the front part for the dogs so there's no room to put a kennel in there and separate Athene and I think it'd be also horrible to do that because you know, she is the only baby goat, so she would have to sleep by herself if I put her in a kennel. If I had the room to separate, then I could put Clara in the front and I could put Athene with the twins in another stall and being able to separate. And this is one of the things that I've started to notice, you know, since my numbers are growing. Goats do require quite a bit of space to be healthy, to be happy, to be able to separate and all those things are things that I need to change if I want to keep more goats. So do I know what I have to do at this point now that I don't have enough milk to feed this bottle baby? Now he's probably okay to be weaned at this point I mean and he cries and you know right now he's not crying I'm pretty amazed because he can see me um, but they're all kind of um, laying down and being lazy but anyways um, he totally can be weaned right now but I don't want that <laughs> because I want to tame him a little bit more and I think the bottle is a per perfect excuse to do that. As soon as he attaches the food to me, um, it will be a more, it'll be easier. And at the same time, it wouldn't require me to spend so much time in the back pen. So what is the solution um, as far as the milking? And, you know, if I want to keep giving him bottle, what is the solution? Well, the solution is to get whole cow's milk and give him that 
Now, of course, I'm scared that he's going to develop some kind of diarrhea or something, that he's going to reject it or that he's going to get sick. But um, hundreds of thousands of baby goats are raised on whole cow's milk, the one that you buy from the grocery store. So I'm gonna just going to go to the grocery store and buy the organic kind, the, our local dairy, and I'm going to feed him that because I want to make sure that we continue to do the bottle for at least the next couple of weeks. This is cow's milk and it's uh, the red cap, so it's whole milk. Hopefully, you know, he's not gonna have to readjust to it. And that way I can make sure that he um, gets a little bit more friendly at the same time while I spend time with him. If he was a doling, I wouldn't worry so much because I spend so much time with the girls that I really feel confident taming a wild goat but being in the back pen is not my favorite thing so even though I do spend a few minutes in the morning and at night it's not one of the things that I want to take a coffee and sit down with them because again we're still wet and it's kind of stinky hopefully you know he's not gonna have to readjust to it but you should have seen him a couple days ago again I was just too stressed to even try to put up <laughs> recorded but he was just running away from me running around the bug house and yeah so this is the next best thing I bought some organic whole milk from our local dairy and oh 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 and now he's all over it yesterday I had to open his mouth with the bottle inside his mouth and kind of hold it shut so he knew it was milk but now he's behaving like a bottle baby <laughs> a new bottle baby because he still does not trust me a hundred percent so the purpose of this video is not really to complain um, about you know having a new goat or how hard it is or how wild he is it's not really about that but it's about kind of sharing this experience for those people that are starting with goats. Uh, it happened to me when I got the girls. You don't know them, you don't know their routines, they don't trust you. It's hard for them to connect you to a safe place. And because of that, you spend so much time trying to correct behavior or to make them follow you into a new routine, teach them a new routine. And so in the end, it's very, very stressful for me because that's the way I am and I feel like a lot of people when I share this experience a lot of people say the same thing the first days are really really hard even though Dom is not really that you know baby that I was worrying that they were gonna bully him out of the food or anything there are certain things that are it's taking him a while to get like I feed alfalfa pellets in the morning and at night he won't eat an alfalfa pellet to, sa to save his life. Now he'll go and sniff them, Rocky would bully him out. So I take him out, I give him a little bowl and he doesn't want to eat it. Yesterday I was like, okay, I'm gonna put it inside his mouth. Maybe he'll taste it and be like, okay, this is exactly what I need. Well, guess what? He didn't want it. So he would chew on it and spit it out, chew on it and spit it out. So I'm sure he wasn't eating pellets um, at all. And I don't feed grain to my boys, so you know, not talking about grain, I mean, I'm talking about alfalfa pellets. So for him, it's kind of weird to see all the boys being so excited every morning and every night when I show up with my little container with alfalfa pellets. I want him to like the alfalfa pellets, but I know it's gonna be a process. And I know that by watching the other goats, he's gonna learn that behavior and he's gonna learn that that's, that's a good thing right now he's fighting it and so the combination of not having milk him not wanting the pellets um, him not wanting to be caught him not wanting to sit by me him not wanting to take a bottle it's just a combination of stressful behaviors and situations that get to the point where i'm like oh my gosh what am i doing 
it gets overwhelming and this is just one of the things that's been happening recently and sometimes you just question am i doing the right thing am i just making a mistake am i just good enough to do this and maybe i just don't have it figured out or maybe it's just me or my ways of thinking and my personal anxiety that makes me feel like it's not working out but throughout this week I'm going to share with you everything that's been happening in detail and that way you can kind of see what I mean when all things seem to be going wrong and you start to wonder okay maybe all these things are going wrong because I'm not doing a good job so yes goats are a big part of farming for me goats are a big part of our farm their well-being is my number one priority as well of course along with my dogs and my dogs and I'm talking about farm things but it's just one of those things that makes you wonder you know do I even have the time to do this can I do this and in the end the answer is I can do it and it's a transition period and every time there's a new goat in the farm or every time there's something changing a routine or something goats fight it and now I am getting to the point where you know we're milking we don't have the milking area yet so I have to get them out of the pen we're going to a different spot to be milked um, and you know just all the routines happening changing at the same time it's just making it harder on me because they're just being a little bit more stubborn than usual now I know this is gonna pass and hopefully with this video I can share that with you there are gonna be periods where things seem to be going all wrong in all different directions but if you're patient and if you keep working at routines and if you keep at it things can happen if you just ignore the problem if you just think oh they're gonna get over it they're gonna no uh, you either stick with a routine and make them understand you're in charge and this is what we're doing and they will get used to it and they will love you for it but sometimes you know they just don't want to do things and you have to put your foot down and say this is what's happening and you're gonna be okay you're gonna love it you just have to get used to it so that is my update for the crazy um, transition of Dom into our farm and some of the things that created some kind of questioning in myself and my abilities if you have a farm or if you go through these periods maybe in other parts of your life I love for you to share them with me in the comments down below if you feel like you want to share them with me of course um, I know sometimes being vulnerable and just sharing this kind of things not something that everyone wants to share I'm not everyone I'm kind of different and part of sharing blogs it's about being real and sharing the struggles as much as all the snuggles and all the love from our animals so if you're new please remember to subscribe like this video and hit the bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video I will be back to my upload schedule of Monday through Fridays at 3 p.m. Pacific time but it would be so helpful if you can hit the notification I'm typically in the chat there is a premiere chat so while the video is happening you can talk to me about that and or anything that you want to talk I'll be there so it's a fun feature and I'd love for you to join us there. Thank you again to everyone that is always coming back, always leaving encouraging comments, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Running from all things at once without thinking twice.